there used to be a time when this channel, Disgruntled Danny, was concerned with amusing stories in the news, ripping the piss out of flat earthers and other conspiracy theorists, or anecdotes from my own life which I thought people would find entertaining. But lately, because it's the only fucking thing that's in the news, I'm either taking the piss out of racists or taking the piss out of people who think that everything is racist. And yesterday, the Australian stand-up comedian Isaac Butterfield posted a video on his YouTube channel, and he's a professional YouTuber, well produced, not like the shit that I post. But it was about how some woke white people are going online and apologising for being Caucasian. So this is my take on that subject. Over on TikTok, the social media site for the mentally impaired, there's a trend for woke white people to record themselves saying, I'm sorry, I'm the oppressor. In particular, celebrities. But celebrities whose careers have started going downhill, they're trying to virtue signal their way back into the news. My message for woke white people is this. Please, for everyone's sake, shut the fuck up. And it's not just me saying it. Here are some of the YouTubers I follow. The funny and incredibly intelligent duo Abba and Preach. The brilliant Ruined Leon. The always insightful Lauren Chen. And the queen of common sense, Gothics. They are all saying the same thing. White people, please stop apologising. Because the problem with woke white people is the same problem we get with all groups of social justice warriors. They see a problem, which in this case is racism. And racism is real, it is vile, it is abhorrent. But somehow, their intervention makes the problem fucking worse. And if I look at this on a personal level, well, I'm 43 years old, straight, cisgendered and white. So to the people who spend their time dancing the wokey cokey, I am the devil incarnate. Now add to that, I'm also English, and I guarantee there are some people who, because of those factors, will decide I'm a xenophobic, racist little Englander. And if anyone watching this video has that opinion of me, I suggest you go and put it to my Irish Catholic wife. I don't know what the first word will be that she says, the second one will be off. There's actually an old joke about Englishness set in the context of the four countries which make up the United Kingdom. It goes, I'm a proud Scotsman, said the Scotsman. I'm a proud Welshman, said the Welshman. I'm a proud Northern Irishman, said the Northern Irishman. And I'm a proud Englishman, said the racist. If there are any woke people watching who were offended that all the protagonists in that old joke were male, well, don't worry, two of them are gay, one's transgender, and as for the English racist, well, his parents actually moved here from Jamaica in 1973. How dare you be so judgmental? Now, I acknowledge that white privilege is a real thing, but nowhere near to the extent that the overly sensitive screaming people keep going on about. However, I don't feel compelled to apologise for being white, or male, or straight. Because anyone's race, gender and sexuality are completely outside of their control. And anyone claiming some sort of superiority based on those parameters is a fucking halfwit. But the main reason why I don't feel the need to apologise to the rest of the world because of my skin colour is because, to the best of my knowledge, I'm not a fucking racist. In fact, the only people who should be apologising for racism are the racists themselves. When I meet someone for the first time, I don't judge them on the colour of their skin, or their religion, or who they choose to share their genitals with. I only have one question that needs answering, and that is, is this person going to turn out to be an arsehole? And I think most people operate on a similar level. I recently had a conversation with a very woke white man, and he said to me that as I'm a white man, there's no way I could comprehend the suffering endured by people of colour. And I was at pains to point out that using that logic, he couldn't either. But he accused me of having white fragility. Now, I disagree. I just don't suffer from this sense of white guilt felt by so many screaming lefties. Feeling that I wasn't taking him seriously, he also asked me if I felt responsible for historic racism. Now, I acknowledge truly terrible things went on in the past, but I'm also aware 
that anything that happened before March 1978 has got fuck all to do with me. For example, let's take the transatlantic slave trade. And I think we can all agree that was a truly terrible chapter in humanity's history. But I checked, and I live in a semi-detached house about a mile and a half that way, not in an 18th century cotton plantation in the American Deep South. I can categorically state I have never bought, owned or sold another person. I wouldn't have a clue how to get into that sort of thing. I know you can get most things on Amazon. I'll try that later. I'll go online and on the search bar where it says, what are you looking for? I'll type Africans. Another thing which woke white people are blissfully unaware of is how unbelievably condescending they sound. They'll say things like, people of colour, because you have to say it like that if you're a woke white person. People of colour need me to speak up on their behalf. No, they don't. They need you to shut up for five fucking minutes so they can get a word in. So that was my opinion. And I'm going to end this video to demonstrate how passionate I am about equality. So here are three ladies. The blonde woman is the American guitarist Nita Strauss. Nita Strauss. Then we have Chinese-American cellist Tina Guo. And finally, the British Hindu actress Varada Sethu. Now these women are different races. They were raised in completely different cultures. But I can say honestly and openly, with my hand on my heart, I would like to fuck all of them, preferably at the same time. Now Mrs Disgruntled would probably have words on that, and I doubt any of these fantastically successful ladies lay awake at night dreaming of a sordid affair with a tubby bald bloke from an unsuccessful YouTube channel. So in conclusion, don't be racist, because that's not nice, but also, don't be an attention-seeking woke wank puffin endlessly apologising for shit you haven't done. As ever, thanks for watching.